YouTube, what's going on guys? Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um 46 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me let me pause this TV real quick. So uh, Oh my goodness, it figures alright, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh good afternoon you guys, man. I hope everyone's having a good day, blessed day. Uh hope everyone's catching up on rest Saturday. Um be safe tonight if you guys go out. Um, stay sober. <clears throat> if not, that's okay. You always be loved and accepted here. I just want nothing bad to happen anyway. Uh, I felt like I, I had to get this out immediately. I have two other videos uploading. Um, tornadoes, possible. Tornado, possible, and self. As major storm moves toward Midwest, Northeast, at least... 140 million people will be affected by the storm after a snowstorm just affected 200 million. Mm. Man, are they getting us. No figures. Nearly 140 million, nearly 140 million Americans from the Rockies to the Northeast are under alert for dangerous weather this weekend due to a powerful storm taking shape in the central United States on Saturday. Danger, dangers include a severe weather outbreak and flash flood threat across the south near blizzard conditions from the plains to the upper Midwest and strong damaging winds from Texas to the Northeast. The complex system brought three to four feet of snow in Arizona and over seven inches of rain in Alabama. As of early Saturday morning, Nashville, Tennessee had recorded 11.5 inches of rain, making it the second wettest February on record, according to ABC Illuminati News. <laughs> Major storm alerts. Looks like we're getting smacked up here in Pittsburgh. Wow, guys, look at, look at the size of that storm. Look what they're doing to us, man. Look at the sky, guys. It's gray here. There's no sun. I'm telling you, we get the sun for a couple hours, one day, for a couple hours, they spray it. It's gone by the afternoon. Literally gone by the afternoon that day. The storm was bringing snow across the high plains in New Mexico and Colorado on Saturday morning, as well as snow across parts of the upper Midwest. High-resolution forecast models are showing that locally two to four inches of rain could fall across parts of Tennessee and Mississippi during the morning hours of Saturday. The storm will intensify and organize Saturday as it quickly slides off to the east. Slides off to the east, while blizzard condi conditions will spread across the plains and into parts of the Midwest. The greatest concern will be developing severe weather outbreak in the south. Models show supercells developing sometime during the early afternoon hours across the Mississippi River Valley. Those supercells will head east, likely becoming quite intense during the early evening of uh, sorry, during early evening hours as they move into parts of northern Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. Okay, we got blizzards there, Wichita, Omaha, Iowa City, up to Green Bay. That rains every, everywhere. Look at Pittsburgh right there. Right, we're, right in between Cleveland and Philly is Pittsburgh. We look like we're in this little snapshot. We're like, all right. There is a moderate risk of severe weather across northern Mississippi, southern Tennessee, and western Alabama. In a moderate risk region, there is a potential for dangerous tornadoes. Additionally, strong damaging winds will be likely across the entire region from Louisiana to Kentucky. Widespread wind damage is likely in this region. The region has already seen a very wet week, and additional rainfall will exacerbate flooding in the region. Flash flooding and river flooding is likely across parts of the southern U.S. through the weekend. It's a big storm. Big, big storm. The storm will move into the Great Lakes and northeast on Sunday with heavy rain heading for the Interstate 95 corridor with some mixing of interior, interior New England and some snow across Michigan and Wisconsin. However, as the storm rapidly intensifies, 
powerful winds will slide in behind it and spread across the Midwest and into parts of the Northeast. Wind gusts of 45 to 60 mile per hour are possible on Sunday for a large part of the region. These wind, these wind gusts will be strong enough to cause power outages and down trees. These high winds will spread in the Northeast on Sunday evening. Guys in the Midwest, Northeast, even in the North, North man, everywhere up there, this is affecting 140 million of us, okay? Um, th th they're saying that it could cause power outages, man, guys. Keep, keep your prep stuff handy. Um, going to work, make sure you have your bug out bag in there just to, in case, not to bug out, but your bug out bag loaded with food and supplies just in case you, ha you have to hunker down in your car. Um, or, actually, yeah, you might have to bug out. You never know if it floods and your car gets flooded. You got to bug out that whip and you got to roll through that through that water and get to dry land immediately. And you might be you might be on someone's rooftop for, 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 for two, three days. God forbid. Uh, at the end of this, I'll say a prayer for everybody. But, guys, please just stay, just stay safe. Just be prepared, man. Um, just be prepared, that's all. Major storm, Sunday by 7 a.m. Wow, we're getting hit again already, guys. Already, guys. We don't even get a break. We don't even get a break, guys. They're taking full advantage of the winter months. The elites. By Sunday night, the storm will have dumped locally four to six inches of rain across parts of the south and locally over six inches of snow across parts of the Midwest. Look at the size of this storm. Oh, my goodness, dude. That's huge, guys. This is a huge storm. Again. This is two within a week, man. This is two within one week. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, I come to you this afternoon, Lord God, and I just pray for every single person in America, in and outside of America, all around the world, Lord God, I pray for world peace. Heavenly Father, please, please, as Americans from the northeast to the northwest to the mid-east to the midwest, all the way down south, Lord God, um, I do pray for every American and every citizen, uh, every person you made on the planet, Lord. Even my enemies, I pray for, Lord. But particularly, I want to pray for the men and women and children and all the animals that could be caught, caught in this storm, Lord God. We please watch over them, Heavenly Father. Please hear my prayers. Please be with these families. Please, please be with these people. Please be with me and my family as well. And just please, Lord God, keep everyone safe. I pray for no injuries. I pray for no deaths. No casualties, Lord. Please, no casualties. Lord God, in your holy name, creator of heaven and earth, my Father, Jesus Christ, amen. Please, Lord God, watch over us. Watch over us. And, Lord God, grant us with the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom that are different. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I know the sign of the cross is what Catholics do, but listen, that's what I do. I just like making the sign of the cross before I pray. It's just like a habit. I'm Christian. I'm not Catholic. Um, now, uh, I also, I'm not praying, looking for... Uh, you know what I mean? I don't do this, like, uh, Christianity thing for, for people to, like, to sub. No, I'm a Christian, okay? I've been praying my entire life. I've always prayed through the good, through the bad. I always pray. Um, God, please, please uh, give me a way to control. Help me, help, help me, God, to better explain to people. I'm not coming up cocky. Look, I love you guys, man. Um, it's all love, man. Uh, trust me, praying is powerful telling you it can help you it can help you okay you just have to believe you just have to have faith and believe man trust me when i tell you just trust me when i tell you just to have faith and believe in what you're praying about man i'm telling you I'm telling you he answers your prayers man look man one love man i pray for all you guys and that's gonna be in this storm with me i'll be in it too one love man it's iggy gonna be five seven nine get you to that line the truth will die